Hi there, it's Deborah Miller, the Elementary Life Pastor. I'm talking to the kids again today, so parents, get out. I want to talk to your kids. All right, kids, you ready? This week, I hope you already are aware of this, it's Mother's Day. So this is that special day we want to make sure moms feel loved and special. Um, and Or your moms, your grandmas, your, your loved ones that take care of you like a mom. I want to make sure that you're loving on them today. So wherever they are, when we're done talking, I want you to turn to them. I want you to give them a big hug and I want you to say thank you for everything you do for me. Because you're probably noticing right now that you're home so much that your moms do a ton for you, right? I mean, they're cooking, they're cleaning, they're trying to get some work done, they're helping you with school, they're breaking up your fight with your siblings, there's so much to do, and they're still having fun with you somehow too, right? How is this possible? I wanna suggest something for you guys. This is coming from my experience as a mom. The best gift you can give your mom besides that great big hug is time alone today. And if you're a mom listening right now, you're probably going, yes, thank you, that's what I want. Time alone. So maybe your mom wants to take a bath, maybe she wants to go on a walk by herself, take a nap, read a book, who knows? It's gonna be up to them. So I want you to turn to that person who takes care of you like a mom, or your mom, or your grandma, whoever it is, and say, what would you wanna do today to celebrate for yourself? And see what they come up with. Another fun thing that you might want to do, this has just popped in my head, who knows if this would be a good idea or not. Moms, I'm sorry if you don't like this, but what if, since moms haven't been able to go get manicures and pedicures lately, what if you suggested you painted mom's toenails or fingernails? I don't know, it's an idea. But you could take a picture of you painting mom's nails or the finished product and put it on our Facebook group so we can all enjoy what the final product is together. And that's that Facebook group is called Elementary Life at Life Church Leander. I would love to see what you guys do, and I'll even post what my kids do for me. I can only imagine it's going to look great. So, let me talk to you guys now about our lesson this week. We are learning about King Hezekiah and King Josiah, and you're going to see real quickly here that these two kings do completely different opposite things. King Hezekiah puts up idols and has the people worship idols instead of God, which is not good, right? And then when he is gone, he's no longer a ruler anymore, King Josiah comes along and he is a follower of God and he actually takes those statues down and that way uh, no one can worship them anymore and he has the people start worshiping God. Even better, he finds a scroll that has the, the law on it, the way that God wants people to live and follow his ways. And so he reads that to all of the people. They hear it and they're brokenhearted. They realize they have been sinning and living against God's ways. And so they all turn their hearts to God and choose to follow him. It's a beautiful time in history. Um, and it's, it's a really cool thing to see. So I want to have you guys take a moment though when you're thinking about that, what are some ways that you're not living right for God? Maybe you're spending too much time watching video games and, or playing video games and watching movies. Maybe all you're wanting to do is fight and bicker with your siblings or maybe even with your parents. I want you guys to ask God, and this is in praying, right? You're going to pray and ask God to show you what it is that you're doing that is against his ways. And I can tell you, we all have those things, even as grown-ups, we have those things that we need to still give over to God. And we've talked about that before, right? When we take sin that we know we're doing and we turn away from that, we turn back to God, that's called repenting. We're repenting of our sins and we're saying, I don't wanna do that anymore, I wanna do things your way, God. So I want you guys to pray and ask God to show you what is it that you're doing that goes against God's ways, and he's gonna show it to you. I bet you could ask mom and dad too, and they'll probably tell you what, what are some things that you guys could be doing differently too. I am missing you guys still. I really would love to see some faces. It's coming soon, I know, but in the meantime, join that Facebook group, shoot me those emails, those texts, and I'm just gonna keep praying for you guys, and I ask that you pray for me too. Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers, and kids, now's the time when we're done talking here, Turn to that mom of yours and say happy Mother's Day and tell them how much you love them and how much they mean to you. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.